right guys, this is going to be a long video, my longest yet, on my Ultimate Iron Man mode series. I'm going to start it off by showing you guys a Mystic Boots light drop that I got at Cockatrice. I started killing these guys for Limp Roots because I remember doing a Slayer task there on my main account and getting a bunch of Limp Root drops there. So that's why I went there instead of Hail Giants and Hobgoblins. After that I went to train my range level on Ogres, just uh, east of the Castle Wars. I got it to 47 before ending day 43. I said I was going to get a couple of quests done before ending day 43. Instead I had a change of plans. I went and got myself 47 range and also 20 limp roots for the Temple Icov quest. And then I ended day 43. We're on day 44 now and I got 50 range on this day. That's the first thing I did in the morning when I got up was logged in, started training my range, got it to 50. I needed 50 range to equip my magic short bow. I didn't have a U bow so I needed uh, to get to 50 range. Before I continued on the quest I needed to bank some stuff in my looted bag and that's what I did. It's not part of the quest guide but if you're ultimate Iron Man account you need to get your weight kg below zero and that's what I was doing was banking most of my armor banked my green dehyde I should have kept that because I could easily just drop it where I'm standing and then run across the bridge and pick it back up on the way back but I never thought of doing that until I got to this part in the quest and I was thinking oh well I'll just uh, just use my short bow and my Ava's accumulator and my coif but I actually had to drop my coif later on because I needed the inventory space. Now for those Iron Man accounts out there, don't worry, you don't need a magic short bow like I have. It was the only bow that I had, luckily I got it from my clue scroll because to be honest, if I didn't get a clue scroll reward that had a magic short bow in it, I wouldn't be doing this quest right now. So yeah, don't worry, if you don't have a magic short bow, it doesn't mean you can't do this quest. You just need to get a U short bow, long bow, long bows work too, by the way. Now during this step in this quest, you have to get yourself at least 20 plus arrows, ice arrows they're called. And what I did was world hop. I find that if you stay in the same world and try to get the ice arrows from the chest, you're going to spend a lot of time if you don't world hop. So that's my tip for you guys, world hop if you do this quest and you're at that part. I had to go back to the wilderness to bank more stuff. I banked my sharks, I banked uh, some other things, I didn't catch it in time but um, I got my 20 inventory spaces that I needed first I needed to go to the nightmare zone first to uh, bank my coins after that I went to Ardoan teleported there of course you know uh, there's no way other way to get there if you uh, metal Mario in there it's gonna take a lot more time <laughs> anyways I unnote my limp roots for the next step in this quest you need your limp roots because after you kill this not this boss, but this monster. He's a level 84 monster. I don't think he's a boss, but he uses magic, so protect from mage. I feel like I'm doing a quest guide. Anyways, uh, yeah, this boss, or this monster, is not very hard to kill. I have 50 range. I was able to kill him, no problem, without my green tea hide armor. Alright, so pretty much for the rest of this quest, um, there's not really much else to say. So instead, I'm going to talk about... Um, why this video is 17 minutes long and it's only two days of progress well two and a half because I, I did uh, 40 day 43 still you know but um, I didn't really do much except collect lip roots and get 47 range from 45 that's all I did but uh, why is this minute or why is this video 17 minutes long meanwhile my last video was nine minutes long with four days of progress covered well, let me tell you, I think it's because of the questing. The amount of questing that I did on in these two days, day 44 and day 45. I got over... I think I got like seven quests completed. Seven or eight of them. And this is the first one. We're still on the first quest, believe it or not. The second quest was Scorpion Catcher. Now, before I could complete this son of a gun, I had to get a bar cart assigned from all the bars in RuneScape. No, joking, but uh, 10 bars in RuneScape. So as you can see, the official Alfred, uh, what was it, Barbarian Bar Card, I think it's called. I know I got that name wrong, it just doesn't sound right. Anyways, I got my 10 signatures, went back to the Barbarian Agility course, I was about to call it the Outposts, 
got the... Actually, no, that wasn't the last scorpion. The last scorpion was in Edgeville at the monastery. The only reason why I recorded myself getting that one scorpion, the second last scorpion, was because of that uh, Alfred bar card that you need to get signed from 10 different bars. Anyways, on to... I'm saying anyways too much times. I said that like maybe four times already in this video, but let's continue on. Day 44, we're still on day 44. And the next quest was uh, a soul's bane. This quest was quite funny. There was one part where I just, I just laughed out loud in real life. Whenever I find something funny, I usually type it in game as well. I don't know why. It's just a habit, you know. I'm sure you guys do it through texting, through Facebook, through a bunch of media, social media sites. One of my favorite parts of this quest is actually this one. There's a uh, these weapons, these very powerful weapons that you can choose from. Swords, spears, mace, battle axe. You don't have to use all of them, but uh, I decided to use this, the spear to get my rage level up. You need to get your rage level up to continue on to the next step. I started killing angry bears because it's the only, uh, it's the only monster I could kill using a spear. It doesn't take long to get your rage level up. I spent maybe you know, a few minutes here killing bears, that's about it. This is the part that made me laugh in real life. I was watching this little guy here standing there and then all of a sudden I look I look back and I see him fall down. So I found that funny. I don't know if you guys found it funny, but I did. There, I, there it is, I typed it in game, laugh my fucking ass off. All right, now we're just gonna skip to the very ending of this quest. Um, there is a lot more to this quest. You know, from what I just showed you guys, there's a lot more. And I was going to show you all the cutscenes. There was a lot of cutscenes during this quest, by the way. I was going to show you all of them, but it was just too damn long. And I didn't know what to say in the commentary either. I was just going to put like music in the background during the cutscenes. But um, then I'd be kind of cheating with the video. Like, um, what am I trying to say here? I'd feel like I'm cheating this uh, long video, if you will. The three little heads I was fighting was the boy. And when I saw a man sitting there, thinking, I thought I was here to save a boy. But um, I think what happened was that he spent so much time, wherever he is, that he aged. You know, that's the best I can uh, explain what happened there. And right now I'm still under investigation trying to figure this out because um, I just think this is an absolutely enormous... Um, experiment of all the colleges in the city <laughs> some of you guys may be thinking what the heck are you talking about Wally I'm pretty sure I just killed some brain cells to be honest I apologize if I did but let's get serious now with this commentary we're starting day 45 now we ended day 44 by completing uh, three quests which was Temple Icov, A Soul's Bane and scorpion catcher those are the three quests that i got done on day 44 we're on to day 45 now and the first quest i wanted to do was the forgotten tale of the drunken dwarf at first i didn't want to do this quest just because there's some farming required you know you need to do some farming one quest item you need for this quest you need to do farming and it's not my forte but i got it done and i'm glad i got this out of the way the quest item that I'm talking about is called the barley malt. To make it, you need to get some barley seeds from either a seed stall, I was about to say store, or you can just uh, pickpocket master farmers for them. But it's easier just to buy them at a seed stall. And uh, you get the barley seeds, you plant them in a hops patch, and it takes about 10 minutes for the barley to grow into barley. And you harvest your barley, then use them on a range to get barley malt. Or you could just uh, look on RuneScape Wiki, Old School RuneScape Wiki. That's what I do anyways. Uh, whenever I'm not too sure on something, I always go to Old School RuneScape Wiki to look for answers. Now even though farming is not my forte, I gotta get, I have to do it anyways. And the reason why is because if I want to get to the cave horrors for the Black Mask, I'm gonna have to complete a couple quests and that's I think it's I know for sure cabin fever is the requirement to get to cave horrors but there's a quest before 
cabin fever that I need to complete and it requires 40 farming and I think that quest is called Rum Deal. Correct me if I'm wrong on that in the comment section below. It's gonna be a while yet to get my black mask because one I'm still 45 no 46 slayer now because I do get 46 slayer before ending day 45. Barrels is another thing I need to start working towards too. I have the requirements to play the mini game. I just can't make myself prayer potions right now. My herb lord level is still sitting at 20 something. I definitely gotta start working on some stuff on my account. Farming and herb lord are, are the two. I also have to get my agility level to 58 because I'm getting very close to barrels close. You know, I'm almost close to 75 or 175 plus points. And once I get there, I still won't be able to get my barrel skulls because I still need to complete two more sub quests in the recipe for disaster quests. Anyways guys we're getting to the ending of the drunken or the forgotten tale of the drunken dwarf quest. This was apparently supposed to be one of the funniest uh, cutscenes in this quest. Actually the only funny uh, quest or cutscene. Holy shit can I talk like some gun right about now. And uh, <laughs> I can see why it was the uh, not the funniest because there wasn't any other funny uh, cutscene besides this one but I can see why they they thought this cutscene was funny just the way my guy just fell back from his chair he was so drunk and I really like this ending on this quest it's probably the best ending out of all the quests that I've done you know usually every quest ends with not a very good ending to it but this one if you do the quest you'll know what I mean yeah, you'll understand the ending as well a lot better but um, it's a good ending I, li I liked how it ended because it gets you thinking you know um, that's all I'll say about that though the next quest I wanted to do since I forgot to record myself completing this, this quest I'm only going to show you uh, where I'm very close to completing the quest and uh, this quest is called Sheep Herder and I got this quest done because quest points man it's four quest points and it's easy for quest points all right now the next quest horror from the deep quest since i already completed the alfred i still don't know the name but the alfred uh, bar card uh, little mini quest there um it was time to do the horror from the deep quest now i could have done this quest long ago i could have done it this quest on day 20 to be honest I'm pretty sure i could yeah i, I could have done this quest on day 20 sure but um, I'm doing it now on day 45 there's a lot of things that I've could have got done in better time but the way I play this game I don't play it to become the best on the high scores the top 10 players top 100 I play it to enjoy it like I said in one of my videos in one of my videos I said to you guys uh, this is a hobby I don't do this for money I don't do it for um, as a job because I have a job right now you know I have one in real life right about now and I do this because it's a hobby I mean <laughs> I know I said I know I just said I don't do it for money but um, I can't help it because now I am making money doing this um, just through YouTube though you know just through the advertisements there um, that's where the money comes in. I'm not like sponsored by any gaming uh, uh, community or whatever. You know, I would be cool though. But then again, I don't think I'm at that level yet. But so far, I'm, I'm quite happy with the progress that I've got with my channel. And um, it's all because of you guys where I'm at right now. All right, back to talking about the gameplay. I completed the horror from the deep quest got me to 172 quest points and I also got my Zamrock God book or damage book but I didn't keep it long just because I needed the inventory space I also got 86 combat getting my strength level I told you guys I was one strength level away the day is not over yet we completed the mini game Mage Arena I got this mini game done mainly because I wanted to get it out of the way and also I had a Slayer task of Hellhounds again. I knew I was gonna go back there and not AFK but uh, safe spot the Hellhounds. It is AFKable, somewhat AFKable when it comes to Hellhounds task if you're safe spotting them. And pretty much I'm just gonna be killing them with magic. 
I used up all the death runes that I had left from the mini game, Mage Arena. And yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing now is just doing my task. But uh, you guys have a good week. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys sometime end of the week, hopefully. Take care. Bye.